Integro, a leader in molded-on electrical connectors for the aerospace industry, just recently launched innovations for safe electrical vehicle charging. Today, we would like to discuss proper mechanical breakaway methods for de-energizing Level 2 EV charging stations. NEC Code 625.19 states, the electric vehicle supply equipment or the cable conductor combination of the equipment shall be provided with an automatic means to de-energize the cable conductors and the electric vehicle connector upon exposure to strain that could result in either a cable rupture or separation of the cable from the electric conductor and exposure of live parts. During charging, 30 amp, 240 volt level 2 design relies on an intelligent last in, first out pilot pin loop at the junction of the J1772 connector and on car inlet to signal a detrimental strain to the system. By the pilot pin pulling out, an interruption in the signal will break the loop, stop the charge cycle, and will safely de energize the cable and connector. This is an effective fail safe for the strain in line with the connector. Now, let's apply this to the real world. The possibility of a detrimental strain due to an accident is inevitable. The cable will be heavily strained in a direction not intended for use. Charging cable strained at angles greater than 60 degrees to the connector greatly compromises the effectiveness of the pilot pin and latching mechanism. Angles approaching 90 degrees become destructive to the automobile and hazardous to the operator. Since J1772 connectors are latched and only designed to pull out in a straight line, we must now think of the potential hazards to the system, automobile, and operator when the connector is heavily strained in a direction not intended for use. Let us consider a familiar 15 amp 2 pin U ground plug found throughout one's household. It takes 8 pounds of force to pull a U ground from its socket. In laboratory testing, the average pull out force jumps to 14 pounds, straining the cord parallel to the wall. In more severe impact-like pull tests, comparable to tripping over a cable, we recorded a 25-pound pull-out force. Luckily for us, these types of pins are designed to bend. Whereas a detrimental bending force will result in damaged pins, contacts and outlets for solid 5-pin connectors like the standard J1772, 15-amp U-ground contacts are designed to give. 30-amp electric vehicle contacts are only designed to carry current. Like present gasoline pump stations, the most effective and reliable way to shut down a fill before damage occurs needs to be built in line with the strain to the cable. Yet, unlike gasoline nozzles that lie in your car's fuel downspout, the J1772 connector is latched to the car. When it comes to electric vehicle charging, it is more imperative than ever to employ a mechanical breakaway to help prevent excessive damage and risk electrical shock due to accidents, hang-ups, and rollaways. Electric vehicle charging presents the safety community with a new set of challenges. Conventional gasoline filling stations require drivers to pull up and park parallel to each pump. The chance of a car getting hung up on another is highly unlikely, whereas the size and versatility of level 2 charging stations allow them to be installed close and at the heads of public parking spaces. It's not uncommon to find cable laying on the ground. Cars backing in and out can catch, excessively straining the cable until something gives. Given the weakest point being the connection at the car, it will not take much for a two-ton vehicle to apply hundreds of pounds of strain to the connector, breaking the car inlet, fracturing the J1772, and exposing 240 volts and 30 amps to the environment. Stray current will follow the path of least resistance. During heavy rain, stray current will find pathways along the ground, along the surface of a car, or directly through the moisture in the air to the closest ground. Adding an inline breakaway will first properly break the connection by utilizing the pilot pin loop to de-energize the cable. And, if strain is excessive enough to potentially damage the station, the breakaway will separate, leaving the terminated side up out of reach. The remaining cable will be de-energized and protected from inadvertent contact by following SAE safe touch standards. In the case of a rollaway, putting strain on the charging cable is as easy as not being parked during charging. Adding an inline breakaway will follow the strain at any angle, properly break the connection, and safely shut down the system. And finally, in the case of an accident when strain on the cable is unavoidable and violent, an inline breakaway method will safely de energize the cable before breaking and exposing live parts to the air, ground, or person. To learn more about Integro's electric vehicle breakaway technology, please visit www.integro-usa.com and click on Electric Vehicle for more information.